this is going to be my very first full face makeup tutorial and as you can see my brows and my eyeliner are already done and I'm going to start off by putting on a primer and I'm using Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Now it's foundation time and I'm going to be using Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation in color 5 and 2 and it's called Amber Honey. And what I like to do is mix my Estee Lauder foundation with MAC Face and Body Foundation in C6. I just like it better that way because the Estee Lauder to me, it looks a little dark and it's kind of thick. That's just my preference though. And I'm going to take a flat foundation brush, spray a little Fix Plus by MAC on it and blend it all in. And after I get my foundation nice and blended and everything is smooth, I'm going to move on to my highlight. And I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NW35. And of course with your highlight, you want it to be a shade or two lighter than your skin complexion. And in this video, I'm doing kind of a dramatic highlight because I am going out afterwards. I usually don't do such a drastic highlight. But I'm going to be blending it all in using my Beauty Blender, and it is damp. It just works better damp. It gets everything nice and smooth, and it's, it helps you blend everything better. The one thing about makeup is blending, blending, blending. You don't want any harsh lines. And as you can see right here, I'm going back in with my foundation brush just to make sure everything is nice and blended. 
And using a Sigma E60 brush, I'm going to highlight down the bridge of my nose and the top of my forehead. And I'm using the same MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And to prevent my highlight from creasing, I'm just going to set it a little bit using Ben Nye Banana Powder and Ben Nye Topaz. I like to mix the two because I found that the banana powder tends to look a little ashy on darker skin tones. And the topaz just adds a little of that yellow undertone to it. Again, that's just my preference. Now it's time for my favorite part, contouring. And I'll be using LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in the color Dark Cocoa. And of course, when you're contouring, you want to use a concealer or foundation, whichever you prefer, that is a shade or two darker than your skin tone. It just really depends on how much of a contour you want. And right here, I am contouring the sides of my nose just to give that slimming, skinnier nose effect. Because I do have a big nose. You don't have to tell me. I know. Still using the same concealer, I'm going to contour my cheeks. And I forgot to mention that I'm still using my Sigma E60 brush, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And it just kind of gives you that high cheekbone effect. My cheekbones are already kind of high, but I like to I like to make them pop a little bit. And like I said earlier, I am going out afterwards, so I'm making my contour a little more drastic than normal. And what I'm doing right here is going in with the same MAC Pro Longwear Concealer that I used as my highlight. And I'm just going in right up under my contour line, and it just gives it a little more definition once everything is blended in. And with my MAC Fix Plus, I'm going, I'm misting my real technique brush and that is a expert face brush and i i love this brush this is the brush i usually use to blend my contour and sometimes i even use it on my highlight if i don't use my beauty blender but blend blend blend
And after I get everything nice and blended, I like to set my contour. And I like to use Ben 9 powder in the color Sienna. It is a shade or two darker than my skin complexion, just like the concealer. And I'm just using that powder and going over everywhere that I contoured. And I'm using a Smashbox fan brush, doing my cheeks, the sides of my nose. Just everywhere that I put that darker concealer, I'm going to set also with the darker powder. Now I'm going back in and setting my highlight using the Ben Nye Banana Powder and Topaz Powder Mix. And right there, I'm just putting a little bit of a highlight under my contour. Like I said, just to give it a more drastic contour. Not too drastic, just a little bit. And putting some on the bridge of my nose to set the highlight right there also. Everywhere that I put the lighter concealer, I'm going to put the lighter powder just like with the contour. And this is the part that kind of brings everything together. I'm going to set the rest of my face using Ben 9 powder and Topaz. And I'm going to do that with my F30 brush by Sigma. And it's a large powder brush. I'm just going to buff my whole face with that powder very lightly. And it just kind of sets the foundation. And it also blends your highlight and your contour together. So everything just looks natural. Blend, 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 and don't forget to get that area between your chin and your neck. And just for a little more definition in my contour, I'm going in with CoverGirl Queen Collection's Ebony Bronze, and I'm using my Smashbox Fan Brush again. Now I'm going to use an Iridescent Loose Powder by MAC, and it's in the color Golden Bronze. And I'm going to use my Sigma F40 brush. And just a little bit, I'm going to go kind of right above my contour just to highlight it because it gives like this really pretty soft shimmer, kind of intensifies the highlight just a little bit. Um, I really love this powder. It took me a while to hunt it down because it's not even on the MAC website anymore, but I love, love, love it. If you have it, I'm sure you love it too. And I'm not too big on blushes, but I wear it every so often. But I actually do like this one. It's MAC Raisin. I just like how deep red it is. And I'm just going to use a little bit on my cheeks using my Smashbox blush brush. I'm just going to dust a little bit on there just to give a little color. I did one off camera, but now I'm gonna do the other one on camera using Revlon Precision Clear Lash Glue. And I'm not sure what lashes these are. I got them from like a beauty supply store and they have like a clear band. I just like them because they're natural. I don't like huge fake looking lashes. I honestly recently just started wearing lashes. I didn't even used to wear them, but I'm getting into it a little bit and I'm using my tweezers right there and pushing them together as close to my lash line as possible. And like I said at the very beginning of the video, I, um, my eyeliner was already done. I had on a wing liner. Now I'm going in with a pencil from NYX and it's actually a lip liner in black, but I like to use it as an eyeliner because it stays 
I love black eyeliner. Some people don't like it. Some people think it's all oh, whatever. I love it. I wear black eyeliner almost every time I wear makeup. It's just something that I prefer. I'm going to go in with Smashbox Photo Op Eye Brightening Mascara on my lower lashes and the top ones just to blend my real lashes with the fake ones. And now it's lipstick time. I love, love, love lipstick. And this is a little trick I do before my liner and lipstick. I dust my lips lightly with Ben Nye Banana Powder. And right here I'm using MAC Night Moth Lipstick to line my lips. And I'm actually going to fill my entire top and bottom lip with that liner also. Because like I said, I'm going out and I want my lipstick to last all night. And the lipstick I'm wearing is going to be pretty dark. And the trick I did earlier with the Ben 9 on my lips, if you have a problem with your lipstick bleeding off your lips over the course of your day, that's a really neat trick to do because it kind of, it helps the lipstick stick better and it makes it last way longer. That's what I found. It's just something that I like to do. And I filled in my entire lip with um, the Night Moth Lip Liner. And I'm going over that with my lipstick. And I believe this lipstick is Living Legend by MAC. It was from the MAC Matte Collection from this year, 2014. It might be sold out. I'm not quite sure. But I love this lipstick. I love dark lipsticks, period. I just found it looks so pretty on brown skin. And now I'm letting that hair down, honey. I'm taking out my little pin curls. I like to kind of pin curl my bangs when I go to sleep at night or throughout the day if I'm going out. I just think it, it gives it a nice little flip look. I'm still going to flat iron my hair off camera, but this is the finished look, and I hope you guys like it.